Welcome. Have you ever wondered if the skincare products you trust are actually doing more harm than good? Today, I will uncover some of the shocking statistics about the skincare industry that might just blow your mind. From the common misconceptions to the powerful influences of advertising. I will dive into how misleading marketing tactics shape our skincare routine. Stay with me as I reveal the truth behind popular skincare myths, and I will arm you with the knowledge to make a smarter, healthier choice when it comes to your cosmetic choices. Let's get started. Did you know that according to the FDA's website, cosmetic companies are not required to have FDA approval before bringing their cosmetics to market other than color additives. So except for the color additives and ingredients that are restricted by the FDA, the cosmetic companies may use any ingredients in the formalization of a cosmetic product provided that the finished cosmetics are safe under the labeling conditions and that the ingredients are not altered or mislabeled. So who is responsible for the safety of cosmetic products that we put on our skin? Long-term companies and small individual companies are responsible to ensure the safety of their products. So the law nor the FDA regulations require special testing to demonstrate the safety of an individual product or its ingredient. The cosmetic companies are not required to share their safety information. So to me, it looks like the cosmetic companies are in charge of the safety of cosmetic products unless someone is injured. So what can be done is up to you and me to look out for products that can be inflammatory to our skin. Remember, the skin is the largest organ in the body that helps to get rid of toxins. We don't want to add more toxins to our skin, do we? So I ask you, do we have unreal expectations of our beauty products and our skincare? And at what price are we paying for beauty? And is it toxic both in how we feel about ourselves through advertising and are the products that we use on our skin, are they great for our skin or are they toxic? Can they cause allergic reaction? As we become more knowledgeable by reading the labels and knowing and recognizing that sometimes the only difference in a skincare product is the ingredients, the packaging, and the advertising. And are we misled by advertising that states that it will take away wrinkles or this cream will give you a youthful glowing skin? Is it just slick marketing? Are there really good ingredients in there? That's why it's important to read the labels. What are the ingredients that we should watch out for in our skincare and beauty products? How do we decode the labels effectively? The ingredients that you and I put on our skin, it should be safe and free from risk of irritating our skin. And if this skincare product causes allergic reaction or the risk of any health concern, is it worth it? And when we are looking at ingredients on cosmetic and skincare products, sometimes the print is so small, you need a magnifier. So when we read the ingredients on a label, you may see that it's listed as other ingredients. What does that mean? That is how some cosmetic companies hide their trade secrets and they do not have to list the product's content. It could be a harmful chemical or fillers like formaldehyde or sodium lauryl sulfate or a phthalates. These can irritate our skin and even cause long-term for some people skin damage. So let's look at some of the ingredients that 
could be bad for our skin. And let's talk about some cosmetics that have great ingredients for our skin. For instance, mascara. How many times do we use mascara in our lifetime? So a particular company, won't mention their name, states that their cosmetics are clean cosmetics. And some of the ingredients may cause eye problems. So another ingredient in this mascara is phylloxyethanol. And this ingredient can cause allergic reaction with repeated exposure. And it can also cause toxicity in the blood, liver, and it can be a disruptor to the endocrine system. Another ingredient is alcohol donate. And this is a common ingredient used in many cosmetic products due to its multifunction as a preservative, a texturizer, and a solubilizer agent. Another ingredient is Lorith 21. And this can have a risk of being an irritant to the skin. These are just a couple of the ingredients. So let's look at mascaras that have positive ingredients. And according to their ingredients, these mascaras are great for your eyes. And one of the ones that I use is Lila Lemonless Mascara. There's also Bare Mineral Mascara, and both these mascaras are strengthening and lengthening mascaras, and they both are infused with serum. And both are non-toxic, and both are non-cruelty. So they are cruelty-free. So another product that we use every day on our skin, and not just as women, shower gel. I never realized how much stuff is in shower gel till I started looking it up. And the reason I started on this quest is I have had some skin issues. And so I was looking for a product that would be healthy and less irritating for my skin and less drying for my skin. So one company that I looked up, this company states that their product helps the skin to look soft, smooth, and radiant. Here are some of the ingredients in that company soap. So one of the ingredients is Sera Microcrystallina. And this ingredient is a petroleum derivative that belongs to the mineral oil family, which can be a potential carcinogen. And it does have environmental impact. This ingredient should be voided in products that can be ingested like lipstick, lip balm, but according to the website, they state that it's safe, that the crystals in the ingredients are not big enough to penetrate the skin. Choice is yours. Another ingredient in this product is uh, phylloxyethanol. It is a potential allergen. It does, it can irritate and it can potentially be an endocrine disruptor. Sodium lauryl sulfate, this is a potential irritant. There is risk of toxic impurities remaining in this product, and it does remain in the environment. And cocoa metaprofil betaine, this is made of fatty acid derivative from coconut oil. This is a substitute for sulfates. It is less irritating. However, it can trigger eczema and several forms of dermatitis uh, affecting the neck and the eye area. This is just to name a few of the ingredients in shower gels. So on the positive side, I did scour um, products at the store, reading every ingredient and looking things up. Um, the cocoa minnow profile betaine is in every, just about every liquid shower gel. So I was hard pressed to find anything, but there is a company called EO Shower Gel French Lavender. It had great ingredients except for the cocoa minnow profile betaine. So I am sensitive to products. It has not bothered me, but the choice is yours. 
Another product that I have searched because it's a concern for me is eye cream. Ingredients that I have looked up, other eye creams had the phenoxy ethanol in it. Remember, this can be an endocrine system uh, disruptor. It had the Lorif 4, it had BHT, and this ingredient is not good. It may affect your thyroid function and anything that you're putting on your face, you know, your thyroid is pretty close right there in your neck. So you might want to think about that. So on the positive side, all of these are good for your eye area. And two of these eye creams I researched and I use um, both of them. The Sunshine Botanical Extreme Eye Repair. This eye cream, which I also have in my wrinkle video, this um, particular product is uh, paraffin free, it is uh, chemical free, it is fragrance free, and it doesn't have any preservatives in it. I use this product on a regular basis and it is great. Another eye cream is Folane. I uh, use this eye cream. It does have great ingredients. It, what I like about it too is when you dispense it, and I have a video of that, is that it just dispenses a small amount so you're not wasting a lot of product. And a product that I am passionate about is sunscreen. And I talk about sunscreen just about in every one of my videos because the sun will aid you faster than anything. So if you look at sunscreens and you read the ingredients, you'll know that most sunscreens are very bad ingredients for your skin. And they also are not good for our oceans and our coral reefs. So you want to pay attention to the ingredients. You want products that are good for your skin and also that are safe for our oceans. So Sunshine Botanicals BB Cream. This product has great ingredients and it is great for your skin. I use it as a base for my makeup. I don't wear foundation, I just wear the sunscreen. Another product would be Eclipse by Earth Harbor. It is not a tinted sunscreen, which it also does not have any nasty ingredients and it is great for your skin. Uh, I do have this in my video, uh, wrinkles at any age. So if you want to be informed and have all of the information you need to have healthy glowing skin and less toxic skincare and cosmetic products, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button for more skincare tips, education, and information on less toxic products. Stay beautiful. Thanks for watching.